Hey, everybody, it's the coach, and this is Madden 20 on EA Sports. Coming up, we'll see a three-time Pro Bowler, Derek Carr, leading the Oakland Raiders as they match up with the second-year man, Lamar Jackson, and the Baltimore Ravens. With that, let's get up to M&T Bank Stadium in Baltimore. There to call all the action. We welcome in our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach. Well, from a city that normally gets only about 20 inches of snow a year, they're getting a pretty good wallop right now as we're at M&T Bank Stadium in Baltimore, Maryland. The two teams emerging from their respective tunnels a minute ago to the approval of this Baltimore crowd. They're all set as their Ravens will match up with Derek Carr and the Oakland Raiders. I'm Brandon Gordon. He's Charles Davis. Full disclosure, we both have mittens. We both have coats on up here in the booth. This one, it's going to be interesting. I've got the long johns, the socks, the boots, you name it. You know me in cold weather. We don't get along all that well. But these games are always interesting because you never know how it's going to play out. One slip, someone's going for 80 yards, and you could lose a game. The snow continuing to pile up at game time. And off we go from M&T Bank Stadium. This is taken at the three. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. So here comes the Raider offense now onto the field. They're led out by their quarterback out of Fresno State. Derek Carr. The thing I like most about Derek Carr's game is not just the right arm and his touch and his ability to find receivers. I think it's his calmness, and I think that transmits itself very well to the rest of the team. They feed off of that, and they go out and play with confidence. Throwing on first down is Carr. This is caught by Antonio Brown. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. A good start offensively. 15 yards on the game's initial play. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. From all the way up at the 38 now after a good start to the drive. Here's Carr to throw. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Williams. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. The end result, 21 yards. Not only have they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely. Great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? Back-to-back -back back good plays have them on the move on first down. Now Carr. Catch is made by Hunter Renfro. And well, he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And all the way in. Touchdown, Oakland. Hunter Renfro, 41 yards. And the Raiders have taken the early lead. Well, that's how they envisioned it. Get the football to start the game and score it. And I don't know if that was scripted. Was it an audible? Or was it just a play call that they had in their pocket? No matter what, they had the right call on against the right defense, and they end up in the end zone. Now for the extra point, Daniel Carlson. Boy, these may be an adventure this afternoon, but this one is good. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it winds up in six points for the Raiders. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. That'll be taken in the end zone. 
And he'll elect not to return this Let's one, go, so they'll bring it Let's out go. to the 25 on the touchback. Out come the Ravens, led by the leading rusher amongst quarterbacks in 2018. In his second season now, Lamar Jackson. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their 25-yard line. From the gun, it's Jackson. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. Ingram churning, he lost the football. And the Raiders pick it up. And they have possession, and they have it at the 38-yard line. Whenever we call a game that's in the snow, we have to focus a little bit more, trying to make sure we've got the right numbers on players <laughs> yeah. that we're calling right, the right guys in the game. Think about the guys on the field. Their focus has to really increase as well because so many things coming at you, you got to make sure that you're really locked in on taking care of the ball. Or if you don't, you cough it up like they did right there. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. So after the fumble recovery, it's Carr throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. A look now at the Oakland offense. And there's offensive tackle Trent Brown signed away from New England in the offseason on a four-year, $66 million deal to protect his new quarterback in Oakland, Derek Carr. No stranger to the Bay Area. First three years in the league were with San Francisco as a 49er. He can play left or right tackle. Here's Jacobs. And nowhere for him to go again. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. Call it no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. The Ravens bring out an extra defensive back here on third. with a play fake to Jacobs. Oh, he's going to go for it all. That is caught by Brown. Touchdown, Raiders. Antonio Brown, 38 yards. And the Raiders add six to their lead. And man, Charles, talk about zinging something in there. Those gloves, they help with one-handed catchers. The fun stuff, any padding for a rocket like that? One would think so, but I'll guarantee you this, after that throw, his hands will hurt later. Not right now in the moment. He's just feeling good about catching it. Yeah, a little stinger, but a touchdown. Carlson on for the PAT. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. Scoring summary, three-play drive, and it ends with an Oakland touchdown. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this Let's one, go. so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Now the Baltimore offense heading back out onto the field. And last time, not only the turnover, but that turned into six points. They got to make up for that here. We always hear about empty possessions but some are worse than others. You can have an empty possession, punt the ball away, get yourself set to play defense, but when you turn it over, it changes momentum, and when they take it downfield and punch it in on you, that's a bad possession all the way around. You're hungry to get back out there, aren't you? You better be, because otherwise, it's going to be a long day for you. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught and you don't give up much run after the catch. Two yards, good enough for a first. I know what you're thinking out there. I know a lot of you are thinking, take a shot downfield. It's a great spot for it. I'd say maybe later in the game, definitely in the second half. But right now, I think they were just trying to get some momentum built. Get a first down, pick it up, and keep moving. 
And we get a quick peek at the Ravens starting offense. And the Baltimore Ravens pride themselves on being physical on offense. One reason why? Perennial Pro Bowl guard Marshall Yanda, who played his first 16-game season since 2015 and 2018. And when he's right, the Baltimore offense rolls. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and 10. From the gun, Jackson stepping up. He's going to keep it. Jackson always a threat to run. He's got the first down. He was the NFL's leading rusher among QBs a year ago. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in, but somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a game. Jackson. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. Quickly now, the starting 11 for the Oakland defense. Vontez Burfick is a super talent and a fierce competitor. He can do it all at the linebacker position. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Play action. Now Jackson. Catch is made by Marquise Brown. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 22 yards there, a first down. I love that play, because in the snow you think run, run, run. Big passing play there. And defenders hate it, especially in open space, because trying to come under control, break down and make a tackle in the open field, difficult in normal conditions. In these conditions, almost impossible so here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory as they're down to the 29 yard line back to the running game it's Ingram and he is met quickly in the backfield down he goes folded like a lawn chair it'll be a loss of one and that'll bring up a second and 11 plays like we just saw there that's why they're up right now and the defense they're doing their job yeah it starts with the guys up front so when you talk with gms or putting together a team a lot of them say we're going to build from the inside out because if you control the line of scrimmage you control the rest of the ball game and that's what we're seeing here they're actually playing in the offense's backfield not necessarily just playing at the line of scrimmage now this will probably be the last play of the quarter they'll try to run for the first with angle and he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Second quarter now from Baltimore. It's the Ravens in possession as they've got it with a first and 10. First red zone chance now for the Ravens. They come up first and 10 at the 16. And now Jackson will look to throw it. They go screen. This is Ingram. And they'll lose yardage here. Knocked back to the 19-yard line. That'll set them back with a loss of three on the play. And it'll bring up a second and 13. You know what the key to a good screen pass is, don't you? But you're going to tell me, good blocking? Well, good blocking eventually. But first, it's good acting. You want to let the defenders go past you, leak out to whichever side or even in the middle where you want to set up the screen, and then you do your blocking. How about the read, though, by the defensive guys? They weren't fooled at all and actually ran with the lineman to where the play was and smothered it for a loss of yardage. So maybe just a momentary setback on what's been a great drive so far, but second and 13 here. Jackson. Now he's got it. And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. From 19 yards away, and the Ravens draw a bit closer. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions, and I'd hear nine from the receivers, 
That meant fly route, go. Uh-oh, look out. <laughs> that was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. Extra point through the snowflakes, up and good. And that'll make our score 14-7. to a pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it's capped off with a Ravens touchdown. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Derek Carr getting ready to go again on offense. He's got to be feeling pretty good. Play him well. Team has the lead, so just looking to mount a drive here that ends in the end zone. And all quarterbacks will tell you, hey, we love a running game, helps us out. But at the end of the day, they want to rely on their arm, throw the football, feel good about things, keep things moving in the right direction. Right now, that's exactly what we're seeing. And we'll see if that continues. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. I think it all came together there. In breaking route, drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Shotgun now for Carr. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. Carr completes it. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. 22 yards there, a first down. And there's a man they call A.B., always a volume receiver. He gobbles up catches. Holds a number two and number four spots for most receptions in a season in NFL history. And in 2015, just seven catches shy of setting the single season mark for most receptions, currently held by Marvin Harrison, a Hall of Famer. Yeah, he had 136 catches that year on the heels of 129 the season before. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 38. Here's Jacobs on first and 10. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. Tackle made there by Tony Jefferson. What's the old expression, three yards in a cloud of dust? In this case, it's dust-covered pellets. It's no longer that old grass that we used to play on right and chew it up. Now, we've got that artificial surface. You see the pellets go up. Still a nice play by the defense. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. to Richard. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Fourth down, and on comes the Raider kicker, Daniel Carlson. They'll put it down right at the 40, so call this a 50-yard attempt. And this one looks good. It is good. Right down the pipe. And they will move up by 10 now, 17-7. to Last season for Carlson, a bit of a strange rookie year. Won the Vikings job, then was let go week two after going 0 for 3, but he picked things back up. Remember, he was drafted to cure their kicking woes, and he ends up going 0 for 3 against Green Bay, including the potential game winner. Gets cut, picked up by the Raiders, 16 for 17 the rest of the season. I'd say at the end of the year, a pretty good success story. This one taken just inside the 10. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. 
And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. And this is not an easy situation. You're down early, in the elements, you're on the road. How do you get the mojo back? Well, one thing is to remember that as an offensive player, you have a much better idea of what you're trying to accomplish and where you're trying to go than the defender. So in this case, because you know it, you can make your cuts with a little more decisiveness. Maybe a second fake, some double moves. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Brandon Marshall in there to take him down on what will take us to the two-minute warning. A reminder coming up at halftime while the two of us head for warmer areas of the press box. We'll be sending you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware a ball may come your way. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Well, we've seen him catch a few passes out of the backfield in the first half, unable to connect on that one. Certainly seems like getting him the ball out of the passing game, though, is part of their game plan. It certainly is because he catches it well, creates a mismatch. You're going to cover him with a linebacker, a corner, a safety. They feel like he can win every battle. On is the putter, Cook, who sends it away. And he didn't quite have the backspin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. So out come the Raiders. And thus far, the weather has not slowed this offense down one bit. They've looked good so far in the first half. They certainly have. And think back to our meeting with the head coach. And we asked him because we saw the forecast for this game, didn't we? We said, hey, have you prepared for this? And he talked about the different drills that they've done in adverse conditions, the wet ball drills, things of that nature. He said, I don't think it's going to slow us down much. We tend to handle it pretty well. And he's been right. Car now on first down. Got a man over the middle. It's Williams. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game. And it can be if that pass is completed. Because you hit a guy on the run like that. He often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. A big play there just before halftime. 58 yards. Excellent execution, and now they're set up nicely. Are they ever? Red zone? I wonder what the next play call is going to be, because after a big play like that, a lot of teams like to use the momentum to launch another one. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Into the red zone, it's Carr. And this is caught. Touchdown, Raiders. Third touchdown pass now for Derek Carr. And the Raiders add on to their lead. Heard a coach talk about those late in the half scores, especially ones that give your team a pretty decent cushion. He said those could be the ones that could finish off a squad if you let them. Yeah, they've got the cushion. This half has been theirs. So a challenge coming down from the booth, and that's where these challenges come from, of course, in the final two minutes of the half. Yeah, and now we're going to New York, right? That's command central for the officials. They'll talk. They'll take a look at it, communicate with the referee at the game site, and issue a final decision because they do have the final call now. It took them an extra look, but they found out it is a touchdown indeed. The official says this one counts. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. 
So the drive there, they went 80 yards in three plays. And it winds up in six points for the Raiders. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. This is taken just shy of the 10 here. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards, up to the 27-yard line. Now the Baltimore offense heading back out onto the field. And you're under a minute to go in the half, a first half that hasn't been particularly kind to you. How do you think they'll play this? Well, I think the smart approach is to run out the clock, lick your wounds at the half, and see if you can come up with a strategy to play better in the second. But there's also something to challenging your offense right here. You know, hey, guys, you help dig this hole. See if you can get us out of it a little bit before the half runs out. Let's go make some plays. Jackson now. He uncorks it for Sneed. And that is incomplete. Showed off the arm strength there, but to no avail. Second down. And attempted a deep ball there. They didn't get it. But, boy, they're going to need a few of those to actually hit in order to get back into this game. Good thing they do have a little bit of time here still left in the contest. Decent-sized deficit, but not one that they can't manage. Second and 10 now from the 27. Jackson to throw again. Got him in. It's Brown. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. This quarterback now, 7 of 10 here in this first half, and he's got a first and 10. Jackson from the shotgun. That incomplete crisis averted, almost picked. Instead, second down. It's been my observation, there's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit, but only the second quarter, a lot of time to change things. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Let's make these babies cry all the way back home, y'all. To throw again is Jackson. Going for the deep ball. And incomplete there, almost picked off. That's one you maybe expect your roaming free safety to come up with. But it's second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. To throw is Jackson, throwing again, incomplete, and we're down to eight seconds now. This offense was on the move, now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Again, Jackson, and down he goes, brought down a Raider sack. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. From the right hash, this from 53. And this one is right down Broadway. And that will do it for this first half. So we have come to halftime in what's already a two-touchdown game. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman, ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everybody, to our abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. The snow certainly making conditions difficult, and it's not likely to get better anytime soon. As we turn it right back over to Brandon and Charles.
All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Not too many breaks ahead, according to the radar. More snow on the horizon as we are back underway in half number two. This is taken just shy of the 10 here. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. Out come the Ravens now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But this is a do real, I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for them. This pass into the arms of Sneed. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 16 yards, a first down. This quarterback now 9 of 16 through the air as he's got it first and 10. They run from the pistol with Ingram. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 10 more there and another first down. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 49-yard line. This is Ingram. It's the linebacker, Brandon Marshall, there on the tackle. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. From the 44, Jackson. That's caught left side by the tight end, Boyle. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and put the down marker back to run. Flush to his right, and he'll avoid the tackle there with a slide. It's a pickup of 11 and a Baltimore first down. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. I hope we give enough respect to the big guys up front because they have been getting it done on this drive. The holes have been large, and they've been barreling through them, picking up first downs. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. That would have been a great catch, but it's real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he had been able to haul that one in. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. To throw again, Jackson. Touchdown, Ravens! That's a score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard and you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency yet relaxed enough to get it done. Now Tucker to add the PAT. He's got it, and it's 24-17. A 10-play drive that time, and it was capped off by the touchdown run that came from Lamar Jackson. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Come on, fellas. 
Derek Carr and the Raiders set for their next possession. He's enjoying a great deal of success. His team is also enjoying a great deal of success. Yeah, he's got that nice little, what I call the QB lean going right now. You see that little stroll that Some he's got swagger. going? Yeah, he's definitely got that. You see him throwing the football, the nice little video. He's seeing that in his head as well because he wants more of that to happen. So anytime you see him that relaxed, that comfortable, Usually it's a big thumbs up for his team. Yeah, it's been a big highlight day for him. That's on the big guard, Gabe Good Jackson. Work, let's go. Let's go. The full start backs him up five. First and 15. Now Carr. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. To throw again on second down. Carr try to drop one in, but it's incomplete. It's always tough for the guys throwing the football when they think they've got a completion and the ball's almost there and then someone sneaks a hand or two in and bats it away. Throwing his car on third down. And a throw there going to be incomplete. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands guess what? Creates a lot of confusion. Kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you can go make a play on the football. Here now, Johnny Townsend as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. Jones on the return. A 46-yard boot, but just 36 following a pretty decent return of 10 yards. And the Ravens, they'll take over. Lamar Jackson marching back onto the field. He's been pretty solid, pretty consistent. Just the one touchdown pass, but I think he's managed the game well, no? I would agree with you, and that's what you're looking for out of your field leader. Making sure that you're playing well and not making any big mistakes. Oftentimes, that's how you judge how big a mistake and when it occurs. No interception so far. They'll like that. I just want you to know that you agreeing with me, that's going to get me through this third and fourth quarter. Are you touched? He's patting his heart, boys and girls. He's touched. Respect. And an alley to run. And he will avoid the contact as he slides to a stop. And give him 10 that time as he was able to get away from the pressure and get a nice game. Well, he's proven real effective running the football. No one open. Don't force it. Just get what you can. And that's what he's done very well in this game. And he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. It's a first down following a gain of three. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? That looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. It just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you should have a few men in the box there. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. Back now in Baltimore. It's the Ravens with possession of the football, but trailing on the big board as we get set for the fourth. This quarterback now six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and ten. Jackson flushed out right. He'll get ten there all on his own, but it'll be second down. Well, he did a nice job keeping his eyes downfield, waiting for someone to get open. But once the pressure forced his eyes down to see the rush, it was time to make a break for it. Jackson's throw on target to Willie Sneed. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. It's a first down on a gain of 10. That was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target a gain of three second down tough day tough sledding right there and it's been that way the entire game not a whole lot of room to ramble for him yeah you're right it's been that way all afternoon didn't get a whole lot better there 
Lamar Jackson, such a threat with those legs, able to improvise and get the first. How many times have we seen this late in the fourth quarter? Because you know the pass rush is getting after him, and they get upfield, get that great push, and what do they create? Space, and he takes off. A looming decision to make on the conversion, down seven. But first things first, they need to score as they come up on first. And he will take it in for a Ravens touchdown. Punching it in from a yard away. And the Ravens are an extra point away from tying the football game. And they're able to run it in. It started with a battle in the trenches. They won there, and they got in for six points. And that's going to be a tough one for the defense to deal with. They've got to go to the bench now and figure out how are we going to slow down this running game because on that particular play, they had no answer. Tucker now to add the point after. And no sweat. He puts it through, and we are tied here in the fourth. That time, a nine-play drive. And it's Mark Ingram who caps it off with a touchdown run. Nothing separating these two sides. 24 all our scores. He sends this one away. This is taken at the three. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. Now the Oakland offense heading back onto the field to take over. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Now a play fake here on first down. And that's caught at the 25. A big play that time for the Raiders. 53 yards. Well, we haven't been shortchanged on offense. Another fun play to watch there on the deep pass. This game has the feel of, what, a, a turkey bowl, a Thanksgiving day. You know, when we get together this year, when the Davises and the Gardens get together, that's what our playbook's going to look like, like they're drawing them up in the dirt. And so far, it's working for both of them. So that changes things in a big way. Now from all the way down inside the 30, here's first and 10. Now left side on the swing pass. They've got another first down. The Raider passing game clicking on all cylinders right now. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. A field goal could get him the lead, but it might not be enough here as they come up on first and goal. On play action, it's Carr. Throw right side into the hands of Foster Moreau. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the 10-yard line. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though, huh? Yeah, you went, you went backwards on the yardage. That kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. And now offensively, it's third and ten, and I'm just thinking to myself, actors always say, what's my motivation before a big scene? Right now, the play caller is thinking, what have I done before that's worked well that I can go to right now? Yeah, because they were pretty successful in the first half scoring points. <laughs> Haven't done anything so far here in the second half. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. I love the intelligence the defense just showed there. Read their keys, saw the screen developing, ran to it, and smothered it. What a third down stop by them. 
So a big one coming now for Daniel Carlson. The kick by Carlson is good. And that will break our tie and give him a three-point lead. So the drive here ends with a field goal. It does give him the lead, but this one's still certainly a long ways from over. It definitely puts a lot of pressure on your defense to hold the lead, right? They're happy to have it and happy to be out there trying to do so. But I know as a former player, in the back of their mind, they're thinking, why don't you score the touchdown and seal this thing? After the made field goal, Carlson now sets up to kick this away. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. Let's go! Jackson and the Ravens, here they come. Down 27-24, 2 minutes, 17 seconds to go. They'll have two timeouts and, of course, also the two-minute warning as they go to work on first down. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 23. From the gun, it's Jackson. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. The big man, P.J. Hall, had the path to the QB there. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's Raven football here as we welcome you back. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down the wire. Stepping up, he'll try and run. Excellent work that time to get free, and for his exploits, he's going to be left with just a third and three. Partner was a definite passing down, but he was able to leak out and pick up some good yardage, even though the coverage was excellent. Maybe it's not exactly how they drew it up, but he still got a big chunk of yardage on second down. It goes as a gain of six, and it's a first down. Obviously a big first down right there. Yeah, they still got to hustle. They got to go up to the line of scrimmage and get set. But I don't think necessarily you need to spike it, but they've got to continue to move quickly. That's good for a Raven first down, 15 yards there. He's back to throw. Connects it to Roberts, right side. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. Good work after the catch. Gets him 15 and a first down. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Now Jackson. And an alley to run. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time and another first down. Still time to go for the win, but they've got to get up and spike it quickly. They'll look to throw. All right, partner, I'm a defender. I've got to express my admiration there. Moving around, making it happen, and instead of worrying about protecting himself, he goes and gets the first down. I've got to give it to him on that one. Normally, you don't want your guy taking shots, your quarterback, but... It's winning time here in the fourth quarter. If he needs to make those plays with the legs, go ahead, right? Yeah, no doubt about it. It's, at this stage of the game, all protections, they're off. He'll look to throw, eluding the pressure right. And that's incomplete. Clock stops with 10 seconds left. The offense on third down tonight, they've converted three out of five thus far. They're looking at third and a few inches. Here's Jackson. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. So here comes Justin Tucker in a big spot. And the clock will now stop as a timeout is called with five seconds left. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here.
And he missed it. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. Well, they got themselves in position to at least entertain the thoughts of an overtime, but as it turns out, it was not meant to be, Charles. And you feel bad for a kicker in this spot. He's going to have to shoulder a lot of the blame, but in reality, this will be a team loss. They didn't do enough collectively to get the job done. The Raiders likely going to get out of this with a victory as they take a knee. So this one, a victory for the Oakland Raiders. And this, not always an easy proposition, Charles. You had a West Coast team that traveled east, but they got the job done. And there's so much that goes into it because your body time and your body clock different from what you're used to west because if you go east, you're going to lose up to three hours, right? So is your body going to be awake when it's time to play? A lot of teams actually rehearse it. They practice it. Maybe the week of the game, they move everything up to that time frame so guys get used to doing it that way. I remember when I played at Tennessee, when we had to go from east to west, our trainer Tim Karen said, leave your watches on east coast time. Every piece of information we got was east coast standard time. Try to psychologically tell us what to do as well as prepare our bodies the same way. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. From Baltimore, so long, everybody.